Welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, geometrical constructions. And for this particular lesson, we're covering construction of a regular polygon, specifically a parallelogram. We want to see what a parallelogram is and how to use geometry to construct a parallelogram. So we have a few questions on the same to help us with illustrations on how to construct a parallelogram uh, using geometry. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some few questions in the form of assignment just to help you practice and help you get your understanding of the concept as we are going to discuss during this lesson. So a parallelogram can be described as a a, a, a polygon with uh, two pairs of parallel sides and uh, it is one of the polygons that is considered to be regular so to construct a parallelogram a, a procedure should be as follows of course there should be sufficient information as we had hinted in the previous slide that there is no definite approach when it comes to construction of irregular polygons and therefore there should be sufficient information that is given to help guide on how to go about or how to construct irregular polygons of which a parallelogram is part you know so one you should try and find one of the sides that is given you have to you have to draw it first we've, we've in, in, in our previous discussions, we've, we've discussed on how to construct a straight line. So that is what you start with, you know. You have to identify one of the signs that is given. Like in this case, you're given the length AB. You, you see in the information provided, the length AB is given to be 8 centimeters. So you mark, you draw a line down here and then you mark A. Then you measure 8 centimeters, you draw an arc. That is B. So we've constructed the line AB. And then there is an angle that is given at A. So you, you construct that angle and then you draw a line. You know, tell that line is, the, the length there is six centimeters. So after constructing the 30, this one is done using a rule and a pair of compasses only. So one of our previous videos, we have done a video on construction of 30 degrees which means you have to construct 60 first so this is 60 and then angle bisector you know angle bisector of 60 should be giving us 30 degrees so if you bisect 60 you get 60 degrees so again if you you missed out on that you can possibly check on our previous videos you'll be able to see how to construct an angle of 30 degrees and even how to construct the 60 see so this is 30. So here I am not really going to use a, a rule and a pair of compasses only to construct because I've done a video on that, you can check. But I've measured 30 degrees here and then drawing the line. Then this length is 16 centimeters. So you use A as the center and a radius of six centimeters, you draw an arc to cut the line at that point. That will give us point D. Then basically what you'll do is to draw a line that is parallel to the given line that we have drawn and passing through B. We have also done a video on that, how to construct a line parallel to a given line and passing through a given point. So you can either use a set square or using a rule and a pair of compasses only. So if you're using a rule and a pair of compasses only, the, the, what you can do is to... One, you can transfer the angle, angle BAD, you can transfer it here. We've also done a video on transfer of angles, so you can do that. So tentatively, you use A as the center, and uh, I mean D as the center in the radius of AB, make an arc somewhere here, and then B as the center in the radius of AD, you draw another arc. Where the two arcs meet will give you point C. So it's just a matter of joining B to C. 
and then D2C and, we, and you'll be having your parallel program drawn. So how you start is most important, it, 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 it's what is most important. Starting with the horizontal line down here, AB, and then measuring the angle 30 degrees or constructing, then um, measuring six centimeters. After that is just D as the center, radius of a B or eight centimeters, draw an arc. B as the center and radius of A, A D, draw an arc. Where the two arcs meet, that is C, so you complete. So we want to try this. So we'll start with the line UV down here. So I'll start with you and then measure six centimeters. So you as the center and a radius of six centimeters, draw an arc to cut the line. So that is where V is, and this is six centimeters. And then U, V, S. So S could be somewhere here. We don't know where S is. So U, V, S is 53. So I'll measure 53. 53 is this. At, at V. So the zero mark of your protractor should be somewhere here. On that line. So you measure 53 degrees. So 53 degrees is here that's where 53 is so you draw a line from from v that way so sv is 3.5 so from v s is along that line but 3.5 centimeters from V. So again, I measure 3.5 centimeters. So 3.5 centimeters. So V as the center and a radius of 3.5, you draw an arc. That is where S is. So we have now located the exact position of S. Then now I'll use S as the center in a radius of six. The radius should be the same as UV. So S as the center in a radius of six centimeters, draw an arc. U as the center in a radius of 3.5 or SV. So U as the center, and the radius of 3.5 drawn up. Where the two arcs meet, that is where uh, the point T is. So it is U, V, S, T. So you simply join U to, to T, and then finally you join S to T. And you shall have constructed your parallelogram. So that is how you you are able to construct the parallelogram. Remember this length should be the same as the other one. And this other one should also be the same as this other one. So the same applies to this. You start with AB. So you draw a line and then you mark A. Now B is eight centimeters from A. So you measure eight centimeters so eight centimeters so a as the center and then you draw an arc to cut the line at point b so that is where b is so b is here and then now you do the 
So A, B, C, C could be somewhere here and then D. D somewhere there, we don't know where it is. But we know B, or we, we know D, A, B. This angle here is 30 degrees. So I measure that. So zero mark is here. And the center is at, at A. So 30 degrees. So that's the uh, zero mark. And then 30 degrees is... 30 degrees is, is here. So you draw a line. So D should be along this line that I'm drawing now. So that's where D should be. So D should be somewhere. So D, A, B, C. No, D should be somewhere along that line. Okay. So a, D, and B, B, C should be of the same length, 6 centimeters. So it means then A, D is also 6 centimeters. So I, I measure 6 centimeters. So using A as the center in the radius of 6 centimeters, so A as the center, you draw an arc. That is where D is. So the actual position of this there. Now I'll use uh, D as the center and a radius of 8. But the radius sh should simply be AB. So D as the center and radius of 8 centimeters. You draw an arc. And then B as the center and a radius of 6. So B as the center, and radius of 6, you draw an arc. Where the two arcs meet, that is where C is. So now it's just a matter of joining B to C. B to C. And D to C. So there we have our parallelogram. So this parallel to that side. The two lines are also the same in magnitude. And then this is parallel to this. The two lines are also equal in magnitude. So it is that simple. You just need to follow the procedure very the procedures very keenly. And you won't have much trouble with that construction. So that is all. You have a few questions displayed on the screen. To help you with practicing on what you have covered during this lesson, that can be done when it can be soonest possible. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.